Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. Sit down Shadow, come on. So I am just a little bit all black today, really kind of black and gold theme. Um, the other night I got really bored because in Sydney there is a full on lockdown at the moment. So I got a bit bored and I decided to paint my nails black. So I was like, hey, you know, I'm going to film a video today. And I decided to kind of go like all black. I got dark eyes and, you know, have my hair down instead of like up and to the side um, to give myself a bit of a darker, grungier look. Um, yes. So this t-shirt I love, but these buttons are so heavy. Can you see that it's like lopsided? Oh god. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so today's video is going to be about um, five of my favorite bags. Um, I'm filming at night because I'm just incredibly lazy. Lockdown has put me in a really bad I guess, pattern and lifestyle. Um, so I am filming in here instead of my closet because uh, there is another video that I'm filming at the moment, which is a work in progress. So back to today's video. Um, it's going to be my top five favorite bags. Now these are bags that are my favorites. <laughs> Shadow's just whining because I've locked him in here with me. Um, but yes, so these are my favorite bags for a variety of reasons, whether they're like because I think they're incredibly practical or I think they're incredibly beautiful or they're just a lot of sentimental value. Um, there's a whole variety of reasons. So I will go into each of them um, individually. These are, let's just say, my top five favorite bags in no particular order. The first one that I have is the Louis Vuitton Capucines and I just have to say straight off the bat that this bag is absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful um, and it's that's one of the reasons why it's one of my top five favorite bags. Um, the design is amazing. I love the shape. I love the top handle. I am always going to be a top handle kind of person. Um, it has a shoulder strap, but I never ever use the shoulder strap. Um, I love the little bit of exotic as well over here. Um, and I think it's just so gorgeous. Also the fact that it's just like a tiny bit of exotic instead of full exotic leather or, you know, exotic skin um, means that the bag I can be, you know, less delicate with. I don't have to baby it as much. Um, my full snake skin Dior bag, the bag is snake skin and I'm scared that like chafing against my body will like start peeling the snake skin off um so I do love just a little bit another reason why I really love it it's the smaller shape allows it to be really structured I'm not sure if you guys have seen the bigger capucines but um the bigger ones are you kind of have the top handle like drooping I don't want to push it but it droops and then the uh rings on the side kind of like bend outwards and that's just because the bag's much bigger but because it's smaller um, it's quite structured it's quite sturdy it's quite kind of like hard um, and yes I love the shape of it when I wear this bag I feel incredibly good about myself I feel powerful I feel strong I feel independent yeah like this bag does it for me I just feel empowered and I just want to say that that is actually something that people don't talk about enough when it comes to fashion. Uh, recently, um, my best friend and I, we just had a conversation about this very topic, which is kind of what inspired me to do this video, um, because a lot of these bags actually do make me feel empowered. She recently just kind of like brought up the fact that um, she's she's gotten into a new career. She's changed careers. Um, she started out with like a science degree and then she's moved on to um, UX design, so user experience design. So it's a completely different field. Um, and she says she's starting to get into dressing um, more, I guess, businessy and more, more formal um, and, um, you know, less sneakers, more heels kind of thing. And she was telling me about like her mindset which was that she feels a lot more a uh, force to be reckoned with when she dresses like that. And I said to her, like, babe, I have been telling you that for years. Like, this is why I dress um, always looking my best. Doesn't matter if I'm going to pick up groceries. I am always looking my best or I'm always trying to look my best. Yeah, like fashion and and handbags and everything. Um, it's all about empowerment. Um, it's a very strong thing and I think everyone should remember that. That 
ability to feel incredibly powerful in your own skin. Now, speaking of accessories as well, I wanted to quickly shout out, because um, I said a few months ago um, that I would do an update video. So I unboxed this Filippo Loretti watch um, a few months ago, and I, you know, did say that it was, um, it wasn't a sponsored video, but it was um, an agreement that they would send it to me and I would unbox it on my YouTube channel. Um, so this is not a sponsored video. They didn't ask me to do this. I just wanted to let you know the truth. Um, my opinions can't be bought. For me, like, I, I earn a living outside of this. This is not kind of like my main source of income. Oh, shadow. Um, this is not my main source of income, so I really kind of like, I do this for fun. I do this um, as a hobby because I actually enjoy it. I have a lot of fun filming and I have a lot of fun editing as well. I mean, who wouldn't have fun filming about like your, this, your passions and this is my passion, right? So this one, um, I took a gamble. I did a lot of research behind it. Yes, I've never used their watches before, but um, I was pretty confident that I would like it. And I did say this in my unboxing video as well. Um, and I just want to give you an update, guys, that this is fantastic. <laughs> this is a watch um, that has been, like, I have pretty much worn this instead of my Apple Watch since I got this. Not every day because of COVID lockdown and stuff. I don't need to be wearing a watch every day. But when I do, I always grab this now because it is actually really beautiful. And it's not um, expensive as well. I wouldn't say cheap, but it's not expensive. I do have a code. I'm not sure if it's still active. Um, send me a message on Instagram. If you guys are interested, um, I can now genuinely recommend this watch to you guys. I have a code. I'm not sure if it's still active, um, but go and check it out in the des description box below. If you try it and it doesn't work, send me a message on Instagram or leave a comment down below and I will um, reach out to them to get an updated code and I'll update you um, by reply. Now the next one is actually um, a sentimental bag. It is incredibly dusty as you can see because it's just literally in storage um, and it's because it's so sentimental that um, I just don't throw it away and I don't um, sell it. I don't do anything. And it is a bag from Emporio Armani. Gorgeous overnight bag. Very much like the country road style bags. Um, so um, I got this quite a while ago. Oh god, I think it's getting moldy. I think there's a bit of mold here. Can you guys see that? Oh god, and I just touched it. <laughs> Anyways, um, so it's this beautiful overnight bag that is incredibly old. I'm going to have to clean very, very thoroughly. Um, it's calf leather with calf hair. There is a, so much dust on this. I'm going to have to clean this properly. So I'm going to put it down. It is like incredibly broken up now. So I'm going to have to like go and go to a leather worker and get it stitched up. Um, the leather handles are like fraying and falling apart. It's an incredibly um, important bag to me. I remember uh, my family and I were in Macau in Ho just off the coast of Hong Kong. Um, so it's just like this gambling city. If you guys have never been, Google it. It's beautiful. Now I was, yeah, we were just shopping in, I think it was the Venetian Hotel. I think that's what it was called. And um, we're shopping around and I came across this bag and it was just a bag that I, I've never been more obsessed with something. Even to this day, even with like Birkins and whatever, I've never been more obsessed with a handbag than I was with this one when I saw it at the age of 14. So um, I begged and I begged and I begged my mum um, and she said, okay, fine, you can get it. Keeping in mind when I say I begged my mum, um, the money that I used to buy it was actually my own money. It was money that I earned from pocket money, doing chores around the house. But because I was 14, even though it was my money, you know, you still listen to your parents, it's my money, but I still needed her permission to spend it, <laughs> if you get what I mean. So yes, that's why I kind of had to like beg her to be like, please can I buy this for myself? Um, and she said yes. And so this was a bag, the very first designer bag that I got. He just keeps staring at me. I can't let him out at the moment. Um, but anyways, I'm going to keep going. Um, <laughs> ignore the cute, beautiful face in the corner there. <laughs> um, but yes, so it was the first designer bag that I ever got in my life. And it was also the first designer bag that I bought with my own money. So yeah, this like my collection is like, you know, 
a lot of years in the making. This is not like a $100,000 collection over two or three years, even though on YouTube it seems like it, but um, I've been collecting handbags since I was 14. Um, it's an 11 year collection that I've spent $100,000 on. Um, the bag itself is incredibly beautiful. Uh, it's, the detail is amazing. It's very intricate. Um, it was like $1,800 back then, in 2008 was like a lot of money like you could buy a Chanel for 1800 right um you know like not like 11,000 for a Chanel now like so moving back off the sentimental side I have another bag that I love um for no other reason than just because it's beautiful <laughs> um, it still does make me feel good, um, and it's none other than the Chanel 255 Limited Edition Unicorn Bag, I like to call it. It is in the iridescent silver calf leather chevron pattern with oil slick hardware. Yeah, so the proper name for it is oil slick um, for the hardware, uh, but it's rainbow colored. It's got like shades of green, blue, yellow, red purples it's it's absolutely gorgeous um and i just would never trade anything else in the world for it limited edition um the sa told me that i think only one of these came into australia um i don't doubt it because i've looked online cannot find it um and i go out to those designer stores a lot and uh not a single time in the three years that i've bought this bag um have i ever seen this bag on another person this bag is just limited edition absolutely gorgeous from the spaceship collection as well so i think i don't know to me i think that's just pretty cool but yes um i love it i'm a sucker for limited edition so i love this for no other reason than just because it's limited edition and it's beautiful. The other thing is because it is uh, calf skin instead of lamb skin, it's actually um, a lot more durable. It's not pebbled, so it's not the caviar calf skin, it's just smooth calf skin. Um, but because of that, it is just as buttery, just as soft, just as smooth as the lamb skin. This bag also, when I wear it, I just, I feel like the prettiest girl in the room. You know, I just feel... <laughs> I just feel absolutely amazing in this bag. Um, and I don't know, I just, fashion has always done that to me. It's always got this ability to, um, it's got this ability to just make me feel so good about myself. This bag though, oh my God, it is just the most beautiful thing ever. So that is, that is why this is one of my top five favorite bags. My fourth favorite bag um, is, so I will talk about my sentimental, uh, and I have another sentimental one, but I'll talk about that one last. Oh, Jesus, that almost fell out of my hand. <laughs> so this is number four on the list, and it is my Birkin 35 in blue Zanzibar. Those of you that have been following me for a while know that I actually have two Birkins. I recently unboxed it on my channel and on my Instagram. Now, the reason that I picked this over my Birkin 30, I love my Birkin 30 as well, but it just didn't make a cut into my top five favorites because um, this Birkin 35 is just, it's just incredibly versatile and it's just perfect for everyday life. Um, perfect for every single occasion. Maybe not like a red carpet dinner evening, um, but I'm talking about every other aspect of life. Whether you're traveling, whether you're going to work, whether you are just going to lunch with friends, um, you know, the Birkin 35 does it for me. The other reason is because blue is actually my favorite color. I would have preferred electric blue. I think that deeper shade of blue um, looks a bit nicer, but blue Zanzibar works just as well. Um, yes, blue is my favorite color. And so that's one of the reasons why I bumped it to the top five favorite bags. So in terms of why it's so good, you know, you have the fact that it's so practical. You can, it's just this big tote bag that you can dump everything in. And so you can basically do everything with it. So like your daily essentials, I'm talking things like sunglasses, wallet, makeup, hand cream, hand sanitizer, now hand ma face mask, you know, everything that you would need um, for your daily 
daily essentials. And then, you know, in terms of travel, you can fit a scarf in there. I mean, if it's winter, you know, a scarf would be a daily essential as well. Travel, you've got your scarf. Um, I like to actually take an extra pair of socks as well, so you can dump that in there. Travel documents as well, generally, if you have a travel wallet, it's going to be much bigger than a, like a full-size continental wallet as well. So having a big tote bag to carry that for traveling is amazing. Um, and also like for work, you know, I bring like a lunchbox and that's like a third of the space gone in a Birkin 30. You can fit books, um, books for travel as well. You can fit your paperwork. I need, I need to fit paperwork in my bags. Um, so that's why to me, it's like such a perfect, perfect bag. It's, it's just practical for everything, everything you ever need. And it's beautiful. I'm a massive fan of Birkins. If I could have only one bag in my life um, and only ever buy one type of bag, it would be the Birkin. This guy is so persistent, but I'm just not letting him out yet until I finish because I'm going to go out with him. And the very last one is none other than the Burberry pouch that I got um, from a very, 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 very close friend of mine. Um, so if you have been following for a while or seen my previous videos, you will know that I got this um, a little while ago. I unboxed it, I think, earlier this year. Last year, actually, during Christmas, um, or around Christmas time. But this bag has an incredible amount of sentimental value, which is one of the reasons why it's one of my top five favorite bags. But it's also because it's incredibly practical. Actually, currently my everyday bag, like especially during COVID, it's so, so good. It's beautiful as well. I love the splash of red. Um, it just makes whatever outfit I'm wearing, it just gives it a pop um, and I love it. The red is really good. I love the color red, but I find it so hard to incorporate into my outfits. But whenever I wear this and I like just like throw on red lipstick, I think it works so well together. So um, this is just honestly my favorite bag or one of my favorite bags because it's so easy. It's just literally grab and go bag. It has space to fit everything that you actually need. So I have my face mask, I have hand sanitizer in here, and I have my um, car keys as well. The car keys and house keys. Um, and then I will have either my card holder, um, and I can then fit my phone in here as well. It's just my daily bag. Yeah, I just like run around, go, er go, go running errands in this bag. It's just really good. And that's it. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So that's it from me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. The giveaway, if I upload this in time, is still open. So go and check out my last video, um, the video that I uploaded um, just before this. There's a giveaway there for like a box full of incredible sample items. Thanks guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Um, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.